Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of my 3D platform tutorial series. In part two, we're going to be going into setting up double jump and then making sure our animations are also working during the double jump. Uh, that second part is usually what tutorials are leaving out um, because Unreal Engine natively does have a double jump feature where you just set a count up, uh, but the animation part is the important key that we have to get into. So with that, um, I did decide to split the double jump and crouching into two different videos. The video was coming out to be like 40 minutes and I wanted to try to give people shorter videos to watch, um, things that are just a bit easier and um, don't have to require you to sit for a long period of time like my um, RPG uh, monster series. So yeah, with that, let's get started. All right, and before I get into double jump, what I want to do first is fix this issue I showed at the end of part one, where if I stand still, I kind of do this weird thing and I also phase through. So that only happens when you don't move. Uh, unless you set up physics and then you do a physics asset and then um, use nodes like um, impulse or force, you would be able to avoid doing things like that. But for this, what I want to do is I'm not setting up physics. So I'm going to do an event tick. Let me zoom in a bit here. I'm going to mimic small bits of movement that are happening at all times, which is why I'm using event tick. Generally, I avoid using event tick just because um, it's not really worth the performance. But for this, uh, since it's a 3D platform, it generally you're not going to require too much performance anyways. So we're going to do move updated. Copy this. Boom. And this is a solution I found online. I had to do a bit of research and a lot of people ran into this issue. Um, and this seemed to be the most common way to do without um, physics. So we have just a integer one and then negative one. And then we want to get actor rotation. Bump it in here, bump it in here, turn off sweep. And then you can also edit the event tick on how often it goes. I put just 0 0.1. You can put whatever you like, you increase it, decrease it. But as we see, we're now being pushed, which is great. Another thing is for the capsule, I made it a little smaller. So I set it to 25 so that it just looks a bit better when you collide with things. Uh, feel free to adjust that as you want. You just need to change this value. So if you changed it more, decreased it, decreased it more. I'm gonna leave it at 25 as is. But awesome. So let's get into setting up double jump. We're gonna do a lot of work in the animation, but for the jump input itself, we are just gonna add a event dispatcher and we're gonna put um, jump trigger. We're gonna call this. This is going to be what our animation blueprint is going to call. So it's going to call us to jump. Close that out. Go into animation, mannequins, anim, and many. We're going to add a pin here. We are going to grab our character. We need to get our specific character. So for this case, it's just third person character. Promote so that we can reference. You don't necessarily have to promote. You could probably just do nodes, but I really hate that spider web looking way. So I don't mind. We're going to do TPC player. Type in jump triggered. I hit assigned and we're going to do jump triggered. This was an amazing solution I found from another guy that found a solution. Um, I forgot the videos, but nonetheless, um, I use this in my own 3D platform game that I'm working with my team. So 
let's do this. What we want to do is we want to calculate how many jumps we are currently doing and then how many jumps um, is essentially our max amount of jumps, which I'm going to set as two. You can set it as three, you can set it as four. But what we would need to do is under blueprints third person, we need to set our jump max count. So Unreal has a native feature where you're able to jump multiple times. You can set this value to like a thousand if you really wanted to, to give them tons amount of jumping at the same time. I'm gonna do two as I just want only a double jump. I don't want a triple or a quad jump. Jump max hold time is another feature that is great to know exists. So if you want to set it to where if you hold down space, you jump higher, this is where you would set that value. Um, however, um, you'd have to play around to see what specifically you would like. You could set it to one, which gives you an insanely high, or you could do like 0 0.2, which you can hold it for 0 0.2 seconds and fly a little higher. I'm leaving that as zero. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now I have a max count of two and I need to calculate if I jump, is that current jump I'm doing equal to double jump? Because I need my animation to know that I am currently double jumping. So grab that player I got. I'm gonna move this into references. We're gonna get max count. And we're gonna get three current count pre-jump. So we wanna know how many jumps we're about to perform. If it's going to be, um, if the current jump is gonna to equal to two, then we equal to our max jump time. So we're gonna add plus one, equal. And then we wanna promote this. This is what our animation is going to reference is double jump. Uh, let's add that. I'm gonna add this over here. All right, so every time jump triggered is calculated, it's gonna see, does it equal double jump? Should we, in fact, double jump? Next, let me show you how you can actually get there. Go to Animgraph main states and from this fall loop we want to add a new state called double jump open this up let's get jump connect it there make sure it's not looping uh, I don't think it normally sets it automatically but just in case make sure we're gonna connect these both Under fall loop to double jump, we're gonna need is double jump. And then we're gonna also need is falling. Do and. And then from here as well, tick this, the automatic rule base, just so that uh, it doesn't need any logic. It'll just go straight back into it. And then let's see. We may have to add some logic here, but let me see if this goes. One, two, one, two, one, two. Awesome. And with that, we successfully have double jump with animation. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching. Tune in for next time for part three on crouching.